Hello, my name is Colo, and welcome back to another Spice and Wolf episode review. Okay, episode 9. This episode covers chapters 25 through 27 in the manga and chapters 3 and 4 of volume 2 of the light novel. Now uh, let's start the uh, episode. We begin the episode right where we left off with uh, episode 8 and Lawrence speaking to Jacob and uh, how Lawrence might be getting involved with uh, Nora and uh, her affiliation towards the church. Then after they're done speaking, he goes back outside to uh, meet up with Holo and uh, Holo says that she overheard uh, what they were speaking about and Lawrence tries to reassure Holo that uh, he definitely likes Holo more than uh, he likes Nora and she's pretty happy about that. Holo teases him a little bit and they uh, get to walking to the other trading guild where Lawrence's debt is. Then we move on to the next scene at the church and Nora tries to see if she can get a better path that she can take the sheep through. A safer path that uh, doesn't have wolves. But uh, she gets turned down because the church really does not like her. Then we move on to the next scene with Polo and Lawrence talking about how Lawrence bought the armor on credit and that he is in debt right now but uh he'll be selling the armor he got so that he'll no longer be in debt and he'll make a profit so then they actually so then they actually get to uh the trading guild and lawrence finally gets uh this news that's been hinted at while he's been here in rubenhagen and that bad news is the armor prices have dropped significantly because the march was canceled. The march that the mercenaries did through Rubenhagen and other towns were canceled. And now uh, Lawrence knows that uh, he's in major debt and he figures out that uh, he got tricked by the man in the last episode. So then we move on to the next scene where Lawrence gets to find out exactly how much he's in debt and the deadline being two days for repayment. So then after that, he explains to Holo the whole situation and Holo reassures Lawrence that uh, she will do her best to help him and that she won't just sit at the inn while he's trying to get rid of his debt. So then they get back to Lawrence's trading guild with Jacob and Lawrence tells Jacob about is now financial debt he's in and uh, why he's traveling with Holo. And Jacob explains to Lawrence that uh, he can't help him here because this was his own fault, being greedy and taking more than he had to or needed to. And if Jacob did help him, it wouldn't set a good precedent for the trading guild. And uh, I wanted to mention something before we go on to the next scene. In the manga, it's illustrated what would happen to Lawrence if he didn't pay off the debt in time. And I really like that uh, Kato drew that. Lawrence would uh, have to become a slave. And the manga shows it really well. The severity of this situation. And after that, Jacob tells Lawrence that uh, he's definitely rooting for him. So then after they get out of the trading guild, Lawrence says he'll try to get rid of his debt with other debt. So he starts asking around for uh, people that he knows to loan him some money. And uh, while he's doing this, Holo is patiently waiting outside every house or establishment. And uh, after maybe a full day of this, Lawrence realizes after this last man tells him and uh, that because Holo is with him, why would people be uh, willing to uh, loan him money? And Lawrence kind of gets angry at Holo for this for a second or two, and he realizes his mistake. But uh, Holo then returns to the inn with a sad 
sad music playing. And that is where episode 10 ends. I really like this episode again. I'm getting used to the music. I think I've said this before, but uh, it really does fit the setting of Spice and Wolf. I also like uh, how enthusiastic Holo is during this episode. You can tell uh, by her voice acting. I like, I like how much she expresses herself too. And it hits so much harder at the end when Lawrence pushes Holo away. And you can see the tone change in both of their voices. Now regarding the last theme, I do believe both the manga and the light novels do it better, but I really like the music choice in both of the anime's versions because of the way the music is used. But all in all, this episode was great. The voice acting was really good. It really sells all the scenes. But I think that's going to be the end of today's review. Tune in next week to see what happens next.